It is 2.37. Mm. I thank God for y'all for coming on. Do not get off because this is important. This is an important message. If you know me, you know I don't even be on at 2.37. At 2. Any time past, you know, a certain time. Because I'm usually in the bed. Trying to get up for the next morning. 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I've literally just went to sleep at like 11 something. And this is an important message. I had a dream. God woke me up. 1.45. So that's only like two hours of sleep. And the way that I feel, I feel so rested. So rested, but I know it's because he want me to share this message with you. Get your life together. The end times are here. They are here. And you do not want to be left behind when the rapture happens. I want to share this dream with you. And it was the most disturbing dream that I've had in a while. Most disturbing dream, man. It put fear in me. Not fear of the enemy, but fear of God. Fear of getting left behind. Fear of not getting caught up in the rapture. And also, it just helped me to see that we have light inside of us that needs to be shown back to others. And if we do not do that job, there is consequences for that job as well. So in this dream, I cannot even remember how it started, but I can never forget how it how it finished right but in this dream there was many of us in this place like many of us i don't even know where we were like but it was a lot of us like i'm talking thousands and it was dark it was very dark and there was a helicopter with light shining down and it was as if the, the helicopter was searching, searching to see if somebody was there. Jesus. And as it was searching, it was me and another girl. And the light hit us. Once the light hit us, we became light. This is how I know it's a spiritual dream. <laughs> we became light. Therefore, our light began to shine so bright. That it was lighting up other people. Like other people was getting bright too. And that was just signaling, signal, signaling <laughs> the helicopter to shine on us. It was as if the helicopter was searching. So as that light hit us and we're trying to. It was like after the light hit us. We was trying to run from the light because we didn't know what the light was for. We did not know what what the helicopter was going to do like we didn't we was we was fearful of what the helicopter you know was trying to look for and we literally automatically turned into like light like light was coming from us and all the people was like dark all the people was dark like you could see their faces um but it's like they're around them was dark so what we started to do this is why it's important this is why it's important to realize that you got light in you we start to hide because we were scared of the light because we didn't understand the light we start to hide literally try to hide behind people and what would happen is our light was so bright it would take so many people to darken us up like it would, it would take so many people to come around us and we had to hide behind them to hide our light but it was like everybody was hiding running from the helicopter light because we didn't know what the helicopter was looking for we didn't know what that light was looking for so literally we running we running literally no lie we hiding behind them and somebody it's like as we was people was hiding us it was getting we was getting hiding on it was hiding our light and i remember there was like a little piece of light out and someone said they they got light on them they got light on them the helicopter the helicopter is going to you know come to us it's going to get us and literally they started to kind of push us out 
they literally start to like put try to push us out like try to run from us too and people just start trampling over like falling over like you know everybody just running just running and the most the most scariest thing was hearing a siren there was this most loudest siren and i feel like it made people even more fearful like it was the siren and it was so loud next thing i know military people start coming in like taking people like literally taking people telling them to go this way that way that way like um the military people just start coming in like pushing people like and they were suited up so like people was really scared and to know that i was in that group i i realize now what it means but to realize that i was in that group and getting pushed by the military like go this way like it's you know we want this is what they said we want tallest to shortest if you know this is usually shortest to tallest but they said we want tallest to shortest um and it was like have your id out um i remember these glass doors like people it was pushing people in these doors like these glass doors and um i remember thinking oh man i don't have my id and somebody said well you're going to go to the well you're going to go to the office like the certain office and i heard this girl as i'm thinking like oh man i don't have my id i heard this girl scream and say no no you're not putting that in my hand and i'm like what is she talking about you know and I literally seen one of my friends. She was like a general, like in, she was like a general in the military. She even had on like they suits were even like looked totally different from the military's on, but they still had like some of the stuff on there. And um, she was. I asked her. I said, "Hey, what's going on? Like, what's going on?" She said that it was. Uh, I don't even know how to say it. Adaria trading adaria drug trading i don't even know what that is i don't watch the news i i don't believe in watching the news because i don't need that in my spirit but when i looked it up it made sense so i don't know what it means only thing that i know it in that time realizing that oh man the helicopter light was looking for other light it was looking for other light in the spiritual realm. It was looking for other light. But we hid our light. We literally hid our light. And we, we, we hid behind darkness. We hid behind people who were dark. And we didn't even realize it. When we had the ability to shine upon them. And I feel like that's how the spirit is now. I feel like that's how God is now. I can't say that I fully understand the dream, but I know it's when I afterwards, I went, I got up to pray and I was praying like, God, what is, what are you saying? And God said to warn my people, the end times are near. They are here. They are near. And you do not want to miss being left behind. There's so many people who have light in us, but we're afraid to shine that light outward. When we shine that light in dark places, it lights up the whole room. It lights up everybody. You have the, you have the ability to set the captives free, but you won't even shine your light. And even for me, I had light in that dream. And I went shining. I hid behind darkness and behind people. And I got left behind. I got left behind. It's not your, I don't feel like this is your normal rapture dream, but this is how God gave me the dream. And when I was outside praying, rapture came to me. Rapture, the end times of warning my people is what I heard. So it was the most disturbing dream I ever felt. The most fearful dream, not fear of the enemy, but fear of getting left behind. Fear of getting left behind. So, I want to say get your life together. Get your life together. Do not wait. Don't feel like you got time. Because it may be too late. 
Stop running. It may be too late. What are you going to do if you live in that dark place? When you got people control, having control over you, the military pushing you. And you're like, oh man, I should have looked to that light. I shouldn't have ran from that light. Jesus. Jesus. Mm. So I want to pray for you now. Before I get off, I just wanted to share that with you. Oh, Jesus. Father God, help us right now, Lord God. We praise your holy name, Father, for you are God. You are Yeshua. Oh, you are King of Kings, Holy Father. We magnify your holy name, Lord God. Let your glory fall, Jesus. Oh, Father God, touch us, Lord God. Turn our hearts to you, Father God. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, renew our minds and our spirits. Give us open hearts right now, Father, to seek you, to want you, to hunger after you, God. And I pray right now that whoever is watching this, ooh, Jesus. Whoever is watching this, uh, Whoever may watch it later, that she ya kai dio so koye ni ya kai dio sho koye ni ya sakaya. Ha ya kia ni ya kia ni yo sho koye ni ya ya. Ha she kia ni yo so koye. That you may touch them, Father. Ha yo koye ni ya sha kai ni ya ya kia ni yo koye ni ya sha kai ya. That you ya kai ni yo so koye. That you may fall upon them, yo koye ni ya sa kai ni ya. That you may change their hearts, Father, for you, God. That you may give them hunger after you, Father God. That they may turn their hearts to you, Father God. For we don't want to be left behind, Lord Jesus. Give us light to shine and let us let it shine boldly in you, Father God. Oh, your koyeria sakaya. We look to you which come with our help, Father God. For it's you that we need. Touch us right now. Fresh wind, fresh fire right now, God. Oh, your koyeria sakaya. It's you that we need, God. Touch us right now. Touch us right now, Holy Father. Rain upon us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray that you touch this person's heart, God. That they come to live for you and share the gospel and the glory. Uh, that you put fire in their belly, God. Fill them with the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. For you to live in power, Lord Jesus. It's Jesus that you need to give your heart to. He's longing for you. He give, he's giving you time. 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 Time is running out. Don't miss it. The Father loves you so much. And He wants you to come to Him. In the name of Jesus, God. Rest upon us right now, Father God. Pure rain, pure fire. Open up the floodgates of heaven right now, God. Let your rain pour down on us, Holy Father. Holy Spirit, have your way in our lives, Lord God. Begin to do a shift in the name of Jesus. Begin to do a shift right now, God. For it's you that we need in this trying time and this deceiving time, Father God. Keep us in your word. Keep us near and dear to you, Lord God. Let us seek your kingdom, which comes our help, Lord. Jesus. Mm. May you rest in his glory tonight. Mm. 
in your spirit tonight in the name of Jesus. Let your heart be filled. Mm. That you never be the same in the name of Jesus. And I'm just praying for a fresh wind to blow upon you from the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Mm. But that's really all that I had and I wanted to share. I wanted to be obedient this morning. Mm. For the Father loves you and He's giving you time. But may your rest be sweet tonight. And may the Holy Spirit carry you in your dreams. Hold you and guide you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.